everyone welcome to week five of our theme this week our story is a story called tree seasons come and seasons go we're going to be thinking about all the different seasons that happen within a year we're even going to send some of our writing to our new class teachers for next year and we'll also be doing some different experiments and art activities for our first session today we're going to read the story and have a little think about what our favorite season is which colours do you like the most? Because you're going to be using those in your very own art session. Watch our story now. In the forest all is still, gripped by winter's icy chill. Owl sits watching in his tree, no one sees as much as he. Snow is melting all around, shoots are peeping through the ground. In the trees, young bear cubs play. Spring cannot be far away. Blossom falls and leaves are growing. A gentle springtime breeze is blowing. Squirrels scramper here and there. Playful fox cubs sniff the air. Birds flit through the leafy bowers. The forest is abloom with flowers. Birds are singing. Foxes play. Summertime is on its way. Now summer's here, the sun is high, bees are humming in the sky. Juicy apples, ripe and sweet, almost ready for you to eat. On a warm midsummer's night, all the stars are shining bright. The trees sway gently to and fro, shimmering in the moonlit glow. Now it's cooler all around, apples tumble to the ground. Grass is damp with morning dew. Clouds drift across the skies of blue. Autumn leaves turn red and gold. Days are warm, nights grow cold. Food is gathered and stored away, ready for a winter's day. The north cold wind begins to blow. Animals shiver, it starts to snow. Time to shelter, find a bed, prepare for winter months ahead. The forest floor is snowy white, in his tree Owl sits tight. Deep midwinters here once more, wise Owl has seen it all before. It's silent now, no sounds are heard, not a fox cub, not a bird. All, tr all trees are still, the snow lies deep, all the forest has gone to sleep. The seasons have all come and gone, snow has fallen, sun has shone, I will see the first new bud appear, and so begins another year. The Did end. Did you enjoy our story? What was your favourite season? Was it spring, summer, autumn, winter? What were the colours that you liked the most in the story? Talk to your classmates or your family at home about which is your favourite season and why you like those colours. And then we'll get started on our Next, art. Next we're going to start our artwork and we're going to do a style of art called pointillism. And that's where you use tiny dots to create your picture. So what you're going to need are some cotton buds and you're going to need some different shades of paint. I'm going to have a go at making some of the colours that I want now. So I have got blue and yellow. Does anyone know what colour that's going to make? It is, it's going to make green. Let's have a go at making our green first. So my tree is going to have green leaves. Not too bad, a little bit too bright, I'll add a bit more yellow. And I'm going to add a little bit of white. You can see I've made my green. I'm just going to make a little bit more of it because I'm going to have quite a lot of green leaves on my tree. Oh, that's good, I've made a different shade, I've made a lighter green as well. I'm going to add a little bit of white as well, to make some different shades. Okay, so within my greens you can see there's different shades of green. I've also got some... Where can I put this? Put my wet cotton bud here. I've also got some pinks and purples, because I'm going to do a springtime blossom tree. And I've got some a dark brown. That's going to make my tree trunk and I've got some white because I don't know whether I want my tree trunk that brown. And then I've got my pad and I'm going to do this in Dougie's 
lockdown diary is what I'm going to do is when Dougie gets back from school later see if Dougie wants to have a go making his own tree as well so with my pencil I'm just going to draw out my tree trunk and I'm actually just going to draw a bit of a circle on the top of where I would like my leaves to go. So you might just be able to see, where have I done it? Over there, you can't really see, you can just about see the outline of my tree. And then I'm going to get going, I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start with the leaves, which I'm going to be doing in different shades of green. And I'll do a few now and then I can show you how it's getting on. And they don't have to be perfect. I wonder what season tree that you will do. If it's autumn and you choose some orangey colours, your leaves could be falling off the tree. That would look nice, wouldn't it? Okay, I'll show you so far. You can see I'm starting to dot my leaves. I'm going to turn my video off now and then I'm going to post some photographs of my updated tree. I can't wait to see what yours look like as well. Now I'm going to leave my art wet to dry just for a little while and then I'm going to add in and I'm going to add more shades of green and brown and I'm going to add in my blossoms so that you can tell it is a springtime tree. <laughs> 